वेलकम बैक व्यूअर टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अजेस्त्रो मनी गुरु योर अल्टीमेट डेस्टिनेशन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड एडवांस एनालिसिस ऑन वेरियस कमोडिटीज टुडे वी डाइव डीप इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ गोल्ड एज इट नेविगेट्स थ्रू टर्ब्युलेंट वॉटर्स अमिस्ट अनएक्सपेक्टेड इन्फ्लेशन डेटा फ्रॉम द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स गोल्ड प्राइसेस हेल्ड देयर ग्राउंड ऑन थर्सडे एग्जिबिटिंग रेजिलियंस इन द फेस ऑफ अ शिफ्टिंग इकोनॉमिक लैंडस्केप The US dollar and treasury yields strengthened following the release of inflation data that shattered hopes for an imminent interest rate cut. Spot gold remained unchanged at $2,337.99 per ounce after recently reaching a record high for the 8th consecutive session. Meanwhile, US gold futures edged up by 0.3% to $2,355.30 per ounce, highlighting the cautious optimism prevalent in the market. The US dollar index lingered near a 5-month pinnacle while treasury yields surged in response to the inflation figures. This uptick in yields rendered non-yielding assets like gold relatively less appealing to investors. Adding to the intrigue, US consumer prices surged beyond expectations in March, fueled by escalations in gasoline and shelter costs. This development has cast doubts on whether the Federal Reserve will proceed with interest rate cuts as early as June. Minutes from the Federal Reserve's March meeting revealed concerns among officials that progress on inflation may have hit a snag. Such apprehensions could prolong the period of tight monetary policy, potentially diminishing the allure of gold amidst higher interest rates. In tandem with these developments, the Shanghai Futures Exchange announced trading limits on its gold and copper contracts, a response to the sharp price rallies witnessed in both metals. Turning our focus to the mining sector, Sibani Stillwater disclosed plans to secure approximately $500 million through prepayment arrangements, including metal streaming. This strategic move aims to bolster its cash reserves amid an evolving market landscape. Meanwhile, Anglo-American Platinum dispelled rumors of potential asset sales in South Africa, as its CEO confirmed the absence of offers for its higher-cost operations. This statement comes amidst speculation surrounding the company's strategic direction. As we wrap up, Spot Silver experienced a slight decline to $27.89 per ounce, while Platinum saw a modest uptick to $964.20 and Palladium dipped to $1,045, reflecting the nuanced dynamics within the precious metals market. Closing shot of gold bars. Nina That concludes today's comprehensive coverage of the gold market. Stay tuned to Ajay Stromani Guru for more in-depth analyses and real-time updates on commodities. Until next time, happy investing.